some people wait a bit longer to find that special love, that special someone they're going to spend the rest of their lives with. And patience has certainly paid off for these two. And just like that, I called your name and calmed my fears. I'm probably going to wait till Brian leaves before I put the dress on anyway, so... Fighting wars on yeah. my own. I've never sort of loved anyone as much as I love her. And the greatest day of my life, yeah. yeah. it means the world. It means everything, you know, like, you know. So what I first fell in love with, I think, was his infectious laugh. So he's got a laugh that can make everybody else laugh. Will it pull that thread? No. <laughs> Brad told me about this time last year that him and Trude were getting married and um, he actually gave me the honour to be the best man, which um, I find absolutely awesome. Brad's sort of like the brother I never had and um, I really cherish the, the opportunity. Been down here for the last couple of days, I've witnessed the amalgamation of the two families and the interaction they have with the boys. Yeah, the two families have just come together and, and, I, and I think all the boys get on. And what I do like to see is the respect that they have for, for, for both Trudy and Brad. And um, I, I think that's purely because of the two people that they are. That respect's not, not just a, a thing that happens, it happens for a reason. And um, I, I think it's a testament to these two people what their, uh, what their boys are like. Your fiery eyes fuel my prayers and I really feel like um your motto, Brad's or, motto is always happy days and um, just to see you two as happy as you are, it, I've never really cried happy tears in my life before, but today was probably the first day. And um, if we could all just raise our glasses to uh, Trudy and Brad. Cheers, Trudy and Brad. It's hard to trust myself sometimes, but I know that I found love. to address you, Luke. You are here today representing your family. And I'd like to ask you, do you bring Trudy to be married to Brad today? I do. Thanks, Luke. I ask all present to witness that I, Bradley Russell, take you, Trudy Baker, to be my lawful wife. <laughs> I'm, I can talk the leg off an iron pot, but I can't do speeches, I told you. Trudy, I will do everything I can to maintain our love. I will talk to you and listen to you. I will give to you and I will accept what you have to give to me. Your success and happiness will be mine. You want these? <laughs> I ask all present to witness that I, Trudy Baker, take Bradley Russell to be my lawfully wedded husband. Bradley, I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to cherish you. To love you and support you in good times and bad. 
I promise to always try to make you smile <laughs> and laugh at your jokes, <laughs> which is a little difficult sometimes. <laughs> I choose you above all others and hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. Bradley James Russell. Phew, we made it. It's been a hectic lead up to this wedding day and it's certainly been testing. However, I feel so much better now. They say there's no such thing as perfection. Believe me. Brad's first Christmas in Wondowan. I don't know if he was. <laughs> um, I don't know if he was trying to impress mum and dad. He DJed all night and they loved it because it was all country and western music. All their favourites. Um, he rode his esky for about three hours while he was dancing on it. Um, mum and dad would have loved to be in here today, Brad, because um, they loved you and they'd be so proud of the two of you. I'd like to welcome the boys into the Russell family along with Trudy and um, six boys now. Lock up your daughters. <laughs> oh, I love you very much, you know that. I love you with all my heart and uh, I just look forward to the next chapter in our life. And yeah, that's all I've mostly got to say. <laughs> <laughs>